Okay, today we're going to install a newly repaired woofer that we've uh, replaced the foam surround on. And this is for an Infinity Kappa 8. Um, the 8 Kappa and the uh, 9 Kappa are similar. Uh, the 9 Kappa has two of the 12 inch woofers. Uh, the 8 Kappa has the single 12 inch woofer as you can see here and the woofer number is a 9023054 and we've replaced the rotted foam surround on this particular woofer and also replaced the center cap as it was damaged uh, when it came in for service as well so we're going to ahead and replace it. We've already done the repair on the woofer as you can see we're going to replace the woofer or you know put the woofer back into the cabinet and then also we have another problem on this particular unit here uh, which is very common on these models and this is the Polydome K uh, Infinity, it's the upper mid-range in this system and they dry rot and deteriorate uh, in much the same way that the uh, woofers do um, and then they turn kind of a yellow color and then they crack. In this case uh, Infinity no longer makes a replacement part for this so we have an aftermarket 3 inch uh, fabric dome replacement that we'll be installing here that's a direct drop-in replacement for the Polydome K. Uh, the Emit tweeter in this case here is fine and the Polygraph uh, lower mid base uh, unit is in good shape as well so we have no other issues to worry about on this cabinet um, other than um, just getting the woofer back in place and replacing the polydome so the first thing we'll do is get started on the woofer it's, re it's repaired and ready to go and on the infinities you'll find that these connections on the eight kappas uh, are all soldered they are a higher end cabinet from infinity and they use a, a higher quality monster cable uh, wiring uh, as you can see here inside uh, the cabinets so we uh, resolder all connections here as well um, since that is the best type of connection that you can have so in this case we'll get started on the woofer and you'll notice <coughs> here on the wiring that infinity labels one wire with a uh, red with a black stripe that is the negative and then we here we have a solid red and that is the positive positive. and on the woofer you'll notice here that we have a red stripe uh, indicating the positive connection. The other side is, a, is defaulted obviously to the negative connection so we're going to head and solder these uh, connections now and the best way to do this is to have a, a, a hot soldering iron set to go and to uh, tin these tab terminals um, first with your soldering iron like this okay nice thin film of clean solder on both terminals there and then <laughs> we've done the same uh, prior to the video we've done the same uh, for the wire ends so we're going to go ahead and solder the connections to the wires here for the woofer um, one at a time just basically hold the soldering iron let the heat of the iron do the work for you and that will attach very nicely uh, to the connecting uh, terminal on the woofer for you so we'll do the positive, then we'll follow up here and do the negative as well. We want to make sure that the wires solder on straight with no extra strands of wire. Everything is clean and that is exactly what you want when installing uh, the wiring onto these woofers. Okay, so this is the look that you're after. Okay, nothing can short out, no stranded wires here. Everything looks good to go. So the woofer at this point is ready to reinstall. Go ahead and turn it over. Make sure the stuffing is centered in the whole area here. You'll notice on these woofers that the gasket is a two-piece gasket. So there's a seam here and here. And we like to install them where the seam runs straight up and down. Um, you can do them left to right as well. Either way is fine on these. Okay. But in this case then that allows the wires to be straight down so we don't have a problem with the flex wires uh, shorting out against each other after the unit is reinstalled into the cabinet. So we'll get the woofer set in place. We have a uh, four millimeter um, Allen bit on our gun. Set our gun to about a medium setting uh, for the clutch so that we don't uh, strip or over torque the screws. And then it's best in this case to start with the top one and then go directly across to the bottom uh, screw as well. And you can hear the clutch working there. Okay, and that's what you want. And we'll come over and do the side, left and right screws on the woofer. Total of eight screw points uh, to secure this particular woofer in place. Some Infinity models only use four. The cap is, uh, as you can see, use the eight. All right. 
right, so we're good there. That'll be the last one. Make sure everything looks clean, and it does. And that's a nice install on the woofer uh, for this model. Now the next thing to do is to remove the damaged uh, Polydome K mid-range here that we're going to be replacing. Same size, <coughs> Allen with a four millimeter uh, bit for the screws. Set those screws off to the side and the mid-range simply lifts out of place. You'll notice on these that they have also soldered the wires for the mid-range, uh, which is typical on the Kappa Infinities. Um, in this case, the solid white uh, connection or uh, marking on the wire goes to the positive, which is indicated with a red terminal plate here on the mid-range. The uh, negative is the black stripe connection here is to the other side. And really the best way to deal with these is to just simply cut the wires right where they meet the terminals on the mid-range. And this is the old mid-range that we will be discarding that is no longer repairable. Uh, mid-range part number is 902-3075, and that is the unit that we'll be replacing. Set that aside, and the first thing we'll do on the wires is get them prepped by stripping the wires, standard wire stripper here, <coughs> to remove um, about a quarter inch or so of the insulation is, is adequate on these. So do that. Twist the wires here. Snip off any excess so that we have a nice clean connection point here. And we're going to go ahead and tin that when we solder the connections to the new mid-ranges. So we'll do the same uh, for the positive wire here. Stripping this down about a quarter. to three-eighths of an inch is fine. Twist it tightly. Okay, <clears throat> and at this point we're ready uh, with the wire. So the next thing to do is to take a look at the new mid-range, which looks like this. Okay, this is the new three-inch dome. Uh, it's a fabric dome mid-range, so it won't be susceptible to deterioration like, like the old poly dome, which is a good thing. Uh, this one will last uh, much longer, or should last indefinitely once it's installed. And you'll notice on this one that the wire tab connections are here. Uh, positive indicated with a red dot and negative here. Um, and then the bolt hole patterns on this particular model replacement are identical. So we don't have any modifications to do to the cabinet, which is nice. This is a direct drop-in replacement for this model. Best thing to do here is to set the mid-range in the hole like this to prevent any damage to the dome surface. Since the dome, it does protrude from the front of the faceplate. Set that here and upside down it goes, right into the whole area like this. At this point, uh, we've already tinned our wire connections uh, here and here on the new mid-range, so we'll go ahead and get our wires soldered up for the connection points here. We'll do the negative wire first. And this can be a little bit tricky, so you wanna just hold the wire on there securely Again, making sure your iron is nice and warm, or nice and hot, and the solder will flow very nicely. Okay, so that takes care of the negative connection. Now we'll do the same for the positive connection here. Okay, <clears throat> now we'll take a look at this here, we want to make sure that we have everything clean. Any stray wires, if there are any strands, we'll just snip those. And at this point, this is what you want, okay? Negative to negative, positive to positive. Wires are straight, there's no extra strands of wires that can come into play and short out there. So we're good to go. This mid-range is ready to reinstall into the cabinet. It's pretty simple, pretty straightforward procedure. Tuck the wires in place here into the chamber and then basically set the mid-range down in straight just like the old one. And you can see that that fits perfectly um, where the old one was removed. So this makes for a very simple installation. Set the clutch down a notch or two on this. Um, for the installation on this one, we don't want to take a chance of cracking the plastic faceplate of the mid-range, so we want to set our clutch level down to about a third on this particular gun. 
You could also install these by hand and that works very well. So you can see these drop right in and there are no problems there. So there you have it. We've installed the repaired woofer and replaced the Polydome mid-range in the Infinity Kappa 8. The Kappa 9 is identical uh, in the installation configuration here. And this particular unit is ready to go uh, for testing and uh, she is uh, all set. Thank you very much.